So it's Christmas. I've always loved Christmas. The 1st of December, I've been bettering out Christmas songs. It's too hot, it's too... I only wanted to make a point. So it's Christmas. The thing about Christmas is it's all holy. It's a Christian holiday. So what does everyone do on Christmas? Do they like meeting up with their families? Do they like going to holy church? Maybe. But let's be honest, no one gives a rat's ass about that. We just want presents. We just really want presents. Just give me money, give it now. Thanks. Everyone only cares about presents. I don't know whose idea it was to make presents, but they are a lad. Wouldn't it be ironic if the guy who made presents just like died alone with no friends? Wow, that got dark very fast. Let's read about trees for a sec. Interesting topic, I know, but Christmas trees, right? I know a lot of people who call their trees different names. That might sound weird, but I do it as well, sometimes. I know people who are like, oh, I call my tree George Bush. I call my tree Chris Pine. We had a dead tree once. You know what we called it? Cholera. Who wants a tree called cholera? It's like, little Timmy, get your present. Mum, why do I have a syringe in my stocking? It's your vaccine, Timmy. Quick, before it's too late. Mum, I want a DS for Christmas, not an STD. Then again, that just might be me with a weird sense of humour. But let's talk about the things under the tree, the presents, the things everyone's actually interested in. Secret Santa is a very popular way of giving presents. Now, I like Secret Santa, I do it every year. But it's in the name, isn't it? Secret Santa. It's not, I'm gonna go tell everyone who I am Santa. It's not, hey Jimmy, I've got that special needs kid Santa, is it? It's not, I've got the Jewish kid, what am I gonna get him? Santa. No, it's Secret Santa. And it really annoys me when you literally, the second after, you've picked the name out of the hat, someone goes, Oh! I got Steve! I got Steve! Screw you, Steve! I'm not gonna give you anything! What is the point in doing this? You may as well just give someone a present. You may as well just, if you're not even gonna give someone a present, you may as well just leave. What are you even doing? They don't even wait to tell people in the city like, oh, I got Steve. They're just like, Steve! I got Steve! I mean, what the? This piece of paper says Steve! It's like they're shouting it from the rooftops. They're like, do me a favour, jump! Also, a thing about Secret Santa, if you don't put a price range on, you are screwed. Because people, they get each other such different gifts. And you are always the one that has the worst present. You go up to Jimmy, right, and you're like, I got Jimmy a nice present. It was £50, but I thought I'd splash out because it's what he really wanted. He gives you a present. It's like, okay, okay, it's all wrapped up, like, nice and neatly. You're already excited, you're already excited. And you open it, it's a lollipop and a massive shit. He's like, smell it. No, I don't want to smell it, Jimmy. I mean, did you clone yourself? Because I'm seeing two pieces of shit in front of me right now. I mean, I'm obviously exaggerating, but in reality, I had the Cedar Santa once. I got them a pack of Haribo and a tub of Quality Street. You know what they gave me? A single Snickers. Not even a Snickers bar. It was one of those celebration little sweets. A single Snickers. I wanted the guy to be allergic to nuts so I could cram it down his throat. But in all fairness, I've been that guy. I'm terrible at remembering presents. It would get to the 24th, I'd get a text saying, Oh, we're all going to meet up in an hour, but I didn't do all presents now. And I'm like a deer, calling headlights. I'm just like, Shit. I also want to point out the attitude to when you were little, to how you are now. Because Christmas just isn't the same anymore. When you were little, you got so excited. I once had a time where we were gonna go at six o'clock. I woke up at three, went into my siblings' room, jumped on them, 
and we watched funny videos until six o'clock because we were that excited. I was about six at the time. Now, what do you do? You wake up at around twelve, someone shakes you, does Merry Christmas, Santa's been. And you just wake up and you're like, how about you tell Santa to bugger off into his bloody sack till I catch a few more hours, okay? Okay, that's good. Go downstairs at one. Someone says Merry Christmas and you're like, what? I didn't think so. You open your presents, you like, in a split second, don't even, don't even look at them, you're like, I'm done. What's the bloody food? I'm kidding, I don't do that. I'm extremely grateful for everything I get. I still love Christmas. On the 1st of December, everything was up, all decorations, I was having a time of my life. But it's weird, because when you're younger, Christmas is like a massive thing. And I don't know if it's just me, but when I went like downstairs and we had all the presents, I'd open them and there'd be so much to open and I'd be so happy and I'd get everything I wanted. But when you're older, you start to get less presents because they're like more expensive and you realise you don't need much of the crap you thought you wanted when you were little. Like now I get about four or five presents that are like really good and I need like uh, camera equipment or something like that, something I need or just an expensive game because games are getting expensive very fast but when you're little you see like this Lego thing in a shop that you've never been to before, you don't even play Lego, you, ne you never even touched a Lego brick before this. But you're like, oh my bloody god, mum, if I don't get that, I'm gonna die. If I, if you don't give me that present, I'm gonna climb into the back of someone's white van, swear on me virginity, I'll swear on me virginity. So you get loads of random crap for Christmas, but for your child imagination, you're like, oh my god, oh, I got a flipping doll that like explodes when you use it, oh gee whiz. And now, you're like, what the bloody hell is that kid doing with the doll that's like a fucking terrorist? What's going on there? You have a mindset of you need to be mature, you need to have expensive stuff. But it kind of takes the joy out of Christmas. Because I remember when I was little, the joy was opening loads of presents. No matter what they were, it didn't matter. I cared more about the wrapping than I did the actual object in the present. But now, it's like, oh, look what I've got for Christmas. That's something for work. Or it's like, you didn't get any presents this year, you got a lo load of money, which is nice. It's like, I can't unwrap money, can I? If you don't un unwrap money, it's not money anymore, it's just a whip the piece of paper, so I mean, there's not much point in doing that. But I still love Christmas, I still count down the days, like the hours, the minutes, every single day from 1st December. I still got the countdown uh, Christmas app on my phone, and it's still a great time. And I still forget all the bloody presents. Wait, have I actually got any this year? Oh, fuck.